Welcome to today's training. The purpose of this training is to talk to you about tinyurl. This particular website will take a very large web address and create a very small web address. For example, when you are working with Google Slides and you have a website that you want to share with your audience, sometimes that web address is extraordinarily long. Tiny URL is a web address redirector, so your audience can use a small web address in order to find your website. Let's go ahead and get started. If you have never used this website before, you'll notice up on the right hand side that you can either sign up or sign in. When you click sign up, you do have the option of choosing Google as your login authentication option. Right over here on the right, it says create an account. You can easily create an account that way or you can choose one of the options on the bottom in order to authenticate yourself. I personally use Google as my login. It's quick, it's easy, I don't have to remember my username or password, and it's efficient. So I'm going to click right here on the letter G in order to authenticate myself with my Google login. And then tiny URL is going to ask me if I would like to upgrade my account. I am going to choose no thank you. I am quite satisfied with the free account. I don't make enough website redirectors, enough tiny URLs in order to justify spending money, so I'm quite satisfied with free. Over on the right hand side, you'll see a small X. You can disregard or get rid of this little advertisement when you no longer need it. The next thing I need to do is I need to grab the actual URL that I want to modify or shorten. I'm going to head over to Google Sites in order to grab that specific web link. Here I am in my website. Over on the right hand side, you'll notice something that looks like a chain link. I'm going to click on that chain link in order to get the actual web address that I wanna share with my audience. Right here, it says published site link. Please make sure that your website is published in order to get this specific URL. Oftentimes, we usually just say website or web address. They mean the same thing. So since my website is published, I can grab this published link in order to share it with others. The fastest way to do that is to click right here where it says copy link. Once I'm done copying the link, I'm going to scoot back over to tinyurl.com. Now that I'm at the website, I'm gonna click inside of this box and I wanna paste the long link inside of this box. I'm going to use my keyboard. I'm going to hold the control button down and then I'm going to touch the letter V, V for victory. That's the same as paste, control V is paste because I wanna paste that URL into this space. Now that I've pasted the URL into this space, I want to create an alias. That's what they call it. The end portion of that tiny URL is the alias. For this sample, I have typed in sample here and sample here has already been taken. I found that out. I've received an error message letting me know that this one is unavailable. It's already been used. But in this space, that is where you would type the end portion of the web address that you want your audience to have. So if it's cheer camp, then you can type out cheer camp in this space. Or if it has something to do with water polo, you can put water polo there. Or if it's your specific website, then you can include your name, for example. I will mention that it is appropriate to be quite persnickety about what you put in this space. You don't wanna make it harder for people to get to your website. You wanna make it easier for people to get to your website. So on the keyboard, you'll notice that I, L, one, O, and zero have a lot of common characteristics to them that could be confusing to people if they're not quite sure <laughs> if it's the number one, the letter I, the letter L, etc. Make sure that you utilize characters that are easy for your audience. The second thing you need to pay attention to is that if you put any capital letters in here, your audience must use capital letters in the exact spaces to get there. It's up to you if you choose capital letters, but just make sure that your audience is familiar with the process and that they use the correct letter characteristics in order to end up at your actual website. After you have typed in the alias in this space, you also need to agree to the terms and conditions 
And then you're going to choose the green button right here that says make tiny URL. I found out that sample here doesn't work, so I had to come up with a plan B. So I came up with Lydia Grace 01. In order to make sure that my tiny URL is going to work for my audience, I am going to copy the tiny URL. And now I'm going to go to a guest tab. Let me model this for you. In the right hand corner of Google Chrome, I have my picture. So I'm going to click right there on my picture. If you don't have a picture, you probably have the first letter of your first name in this space. I'm going to click right here in order for this menu to drop down. Once the menu has dropped down, I'm going to click where it says guest. I want to go into a guest tab. And when you do that, a brand new tab is going to open up and it's going to look like this. You're browsing as a guest. In the Omni bar on the left hand side, I want to paste the address that I just copied. So I'm going to click in that space and I'm going to use my keyboard. I'm going to hold the control button down and then I'm going to touch the letter V for victory. That's the shortcut for pasting. And then the web address will appear in this space. Once it appears in that space, I'm going to press enter on my keyboard so that the actual website appears. To make this process even easier for your audience, you can actually take off the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. If you share with your audience this web address starting with the letter T, it will actually work as well. It'll save you time and it's even more convenient for your users. And you'll notice that it actually did appear. So that's letting me know that anyone who has access to the tiny URL can access the website. For example, if I want to make sure that parents can actually get there, this is the process that I would use to verify that my website is published to the world and anyone has access to it. On the right hand side, you'll notice that it says guest because I am inside of a guest tab. If I ever forget the tiny URL that I have designed, I can actually head back to tiny URL, sign back into my account, and all of my tiny URLs will be saved for me. Thank you so much for watching today's tutorial and have a great day.